everyone! On this episode of Coding with Kate, we are actually going to be taking the information that we found in our previous video of dissecting the op report of a femoral artery bypass graft, and we're actually going to be finding the codes in the code book and go through that process. But to start, I wanted to review the information that we found in the previous video. I'll have a link in the description. And then also reviewing the breakdown of a PCS code so we're all on the same page of what that all means. So we found that the root operation was bypassed, the body part was the left and right femoral arteries, the approach I decided was open and I'm still sticking with that approach. The device was a prosthetic graft but we already know PCS will use the term synthetic graft. We also found that we're, there was a second procedure that happened near the end which was a thrombectomy. So the root operation for that is extirpation because removing a thrombus, blood clot, etc., or a byproduct of a physiological process, we use extirpation. The body part, we found that was on the right femoral artery and the approach was open. So now that we know that, we can go into the code book and further define and add more information to our codes. I'm going to continue with the format of having the image of the book popping up when we're going to be looking in it. Hopefully that still works for you all. Okay, so with this procedure, we know the body parts, we just need to find the body system. If you are uncomfortable yet with the setup of the book, you can go to the index. I would suggest looking under bypass and then looking for left or right femoral artery, either one. That will get you to the correct chapter or body system where you can find the bypass table and then continue to fill out your code. But since I'm familiar with the setup of the book, I know that femoral arteries are going to be in the lower arteries chapter because femoral, that is below the lumbar of the spine, it's in the leg. So that would be lower arteries and lower arteries. It is an orange section and we need to look for the bypass table, which is the very first table. So the section medical surgical, that's an O. Body system, lower arteries, that's a four. And operation or the root operation that is bypass. So that is a one. So now we want to look for the left femoral artery because in bypass procedures or non-coronary artery bypass procedures, the body part character is where the bypass began or where it came from or the blood supply came from. And the qualifier will be where the bypass ended or where it went to or where the blood supply went to. So we know that the bypass started in the left femoral artery and the blood supply was going to the right femoral artery. So in our body part character, we want to look for the left femoral artery. So we're going to look for femoral. It is almost near the bottom of the table and we want to look for left. Femoral artery left, that's an L. And then staying in that row are Approach column, which is our fifth character placement, we found that to be open, so that's an O. And our device column, or our sixth character placement, we said that a prosthetic graft would be considered synthetic, so we want to choose synthetic substitute, so that's a J. And then our qualifier column, or our seventh character placement, we need to look for right femoral artery because it was going from the left to the right. So we want to look for femoral artery right. That is an H. And that is our first code. O41LOJH. Now we just need to look for the extirpation root operation because that was the second procedure that happened in the surgery. They were not connected to each other. The thrombectomy was not an integral part of the bypass graft procedure, so it is separate. And the extirpation happened on the right femoral artery, meaning we are going to stay in the same chapter of the lower arteries. 
and we just need to find the table of extirpation. And it is at the top of the page, so we know we're in the same section of body system, so that's O4, O medical surgical four lower arteries. Our root operation is a C for extirpation. The body part we want to look for right femoral artery since that is where the thrombectomy happened. Femoral artery right, which is a K. So the approach column or the fifth character placement, we said that it was open since it happened while they still had the patient opened up in the same approach as the femoral bypass graft. So we are going to choose open. If there are any coders out there that watched the previous video where we read the op report, if not, go to the link in the description. Let me know if you agree if both of these are open. It sounded to me like it was open. Let me know if you think it's percutaneous. The device column or the six character placement, it says Z, no device. So we put a Z. And our qualifier which is our seventh character placement, it gives two options, bifurcation or no qualifier. We're going to say no qualifier because the term bifurcation did not come up at all in our op report, so we would not choose that one. So Z, no qualifier. And that is how we build our PCS codes for a femoral artery bypass graft with a thrombectomy. Super simple, actually. I think the hardest part is just dissecting the op report. That is why I make that a separate video because it does take a little bit more time to read through and figure out what information is integral or what needs to be captured in the PCS code. But once you have all that information, it makes finding it in the PCS code book very, very, very simple. And that's how we do it. So in the comments below, let me know if you have any questions. If you have any ideas for other procedures that you'd like me to demo in the PCS code book or dissecting an op report, you can subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications on when I have new videos so you're always in the know. And like this video if you enjoyed this setup or in the comments let me know if you preferred the first setup where the camera is actually looking at the code book as I page through it. Let me know what you think. I kind of like this setup. I like being able to stand and move around. That's my preference. And keep an eye out for new videos. I'll see y'all later. Bye!